Hey there friend, it's Mark from Men Who Bullet and I'm so excited for today's video because we are checking out one of my new favorite pens. I've absolutely loved writing with this for the past few weeks. This is the Monte Verde Engage. It's a retractable pen. And what's super cool about this pen and what makes it so special is that it actually draws ink like a fountain pen, but it writes like a rollerball pen. And the reason is because this pen actually gets filled with fountain pen ink. It has a very cool mechanism and how it works, and that's what we're gonna take a look at today. We're gonna talk about all the special features. We'll do a little writing sample. I'm a lefty, so my writing sample's a little meh, but it's more about the close-up and showing you how you can actually use this pen with fountain pen ink inside of a normal bullet journal. That's what I love so much about it. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. This is from Monte Verde USA, a world of luxury and innovation. It absolutely is. I'm so excited for you to check out the Engage. Ugh, I just love this so much. It's been my go-to pen for the past several weeks since I got it, and I just can't put it down because I love writing with it so much. So it comes inside of this case here. I was expecting a little bit of a nicer case for this, but maybe because it's not an actual fountain pen, uh, they don't expect you to really carry it around or, or contain it inside of here, but it is just plastic um, with a little bit of like a felt type insert here. The price on these is important to think about. They probably differ across the internet, but on the Monte Verde website, this version, which is the carbon fiber version, goes for $95. There's also a demo version, which is clear, which you can see like all the inner workings, which is very cool. And also a rainbow one, which is neat because that's like a, it has like rainbow tones on it if you're into that. And they go for $95. And then there's also an iodized version, which has like a few colors. It doesn't look as luxurious as this, just being honest. Um, but those go for $65, but it's still the same pen. It's more about uh, what it looks like. We're going to open up the pen and take a look in just a minute, but let's go through the rest of what's inside of the box. What's in the box? We have some pieces here that just talk about the Engage, the retractable ink ball. So ink ball, and what's really important, and we'll talk about that, is the way in which this happens. So we'll be actually filling this pen up. It's been a little bit since I filled it up, so I wanna show you on camera what that looks like. But you fill this up with the converter that's inside of here, like you would a fountain ball pen. Or if you want, you can actually put the cartridges in here. And because it's retractable and has that click, it needs this extra adapter here to go inside of. So let's go ahead and open this up real quick so you can see it. So this one already has a cartridge on it. So any color cartridge that you want, just a universal size here, will fit on the edge of this. And then when we open it up, I'll show you how it could go on there. I'm not gonna click it on there because I wanna fill it with fountain pen ink, uh, but it's very easy to do. So this comes with one that's a part of the cartridge and then also looks like you get a blue and a black inside of here. The pen itself is already loaded with the cartridge that you have, so you don't need to worry about that one. Some information about Monte Verde in here, and then a warning that says your pen contains liquid with ink that can stain if you fail to retract or cap the point before you put it in your pocket. So none of these people can be responsible for if you do that. Um, I have not had an issue with this pen leaking or getting on anything, but I also don't put this in my pocket. So I usually have my bullet journal with me and I put this on my pen holder and I'm usually in a good spot. Uh, but Important warning, I'm assuming that's because people have gotten ink on themselves and then blame the company for some reason as if the company put that on you. <laughs> I am gonna put down a paper towel while I'm working. I'm just nervous, I wanna get ink all over my tabletop here. So what's neat about this pen, as I'm talking about, is that you load this like you would a fountain pen. So you unscrew the top and then you have your barrel that's here. And then you have the rest of your pen here. So there's the spring, and that's what helps it you know, go up and down. And then you have their converter here, which then is attached to the, essentially the ballpoint pen part of this. Um, so you don't have just like that ink cylinder like you do in the other ones here. So it has the converter. Uh, we're actually gonna fill this up with ink in just a little bit. But if you're using cartridges instead, 
of doing this. Instead of having this converter, you would load this cartridge on here and that would go in here and then you'd be able to click this. So if you don't have fountain pen ink, you don't want to use ink in that and draw it up, you would just use your cartridge and stick that in here and it would work just the same. So the ink that I've been using has actually been from Private Reserve, which is ink that was sent to me. I have to say this pen was sent to me to purchase this on my own. Um, and the reason that I'm using this ink inside of here is because it's fast drying ink. I was not sure how well this is going to work. I wanted to use this inside of my bullet journal. Uh, I have an Archer and Olive bullet journal and fountain pen ink does not usually do very well inside of that bullet journal. Uh, it usually feathers pretty poorly. So I thought, you know what? Let's try this fast drying ink from Private Reserve to see if this works better. And it has been working wonderfully, I have to tell you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this up carefully. And you can see just how beautiful the ink is. And then you actually don't have to take the top off if you don't want to. So once you put in the converter here, uh, and I'm just gonna go ahead and push out the ink. And you'll see that it's coming out, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's actually coming out from the side of the pen, not from the tip because it holds it all inside of there. So when I first, drew the ink up inside of here, when I was looking at this here, it looked like all of the ink was flowing up through the tip of the pen. But the thing was, is that when I just put the tip inside of it and I was drawing it up, I wasn't getting a lot of ink. As you can see there, right? There's no ink inside of there. So what I did is I essentially, kept putting the pen further and further in here until I got ink. And so that's when I put it in to where this, this plastic tip is right here. You can't see because it it's black on black. But I put it in just slightly above where the, the pen tip is because that is where I think the actual ink gets drawn from. And when I did that, then you can see the ink was being drawn up inside of the pen. So the first time you load this pen with ink, you actually want to draw it up and then push it back out. And that's kind of like getting the ink in there. I did this about three times when I got started just to like really make sure. And if this is your first time using a converter and I'm by no means an expert here, you just wanna make sure that you're drawing up slowly because it does take the ink a second to start to pull up inside of the pen. I've never gotten the ink to like fully like go top to bottom inside of here. So as you can see there, it's filled up to right about here. Um, and that's okay for me. I actually have only filled it that much and I've been using this pen for almost three weeks now without having to refill it again. And I thought that I was going to have to fill this several times. Like when I, whenever I work with fountain pen inks or anything like that, I feel like I'm using them and, and like refilling them several times a week. But with this one, I did not. Now you do have to be a little bit careful um, because, because you stick the pen in there like that, you are going to have ink. So just always have a paper towel ready or something just so you can get any of that extra ink off of there. But once you do, and it's again, like, this is like nothing compared to what it looks, it usually looks like a, a murder has happened anytime I fill any other ink. Um, this one did very well. And then what you do is you just put your pen back together. We put the spring here. We take this part and we stick it inside of the pen. And then you take your top and you just push it on there and screw it on until it's nice and tight. And then you have your pen. Now this should work pretty well right as I'm writing with it because um, I've already filled it before so there isn't any kind of change that needs to happen here. This is the Archer and Olive desk pad. So this desk pad paper is made out of the same paper that the Archer and Olive notebooks are made out of. And like I said, when I use other fountain pens, it bleeds uh, and feathers, I'm sorry, it feathers and it doesn't look nice, but this one does not because it really is writing like a ballpoint pen on here, but it's using the fountain pen ink that I have here. So it's just super nice. And I just absolutely 
love, love, love this pen so much. It writes wonderfully. It is just, it just reminds me of like writing with a really nice pen. That's all I can really say about it, right? Because when you're writing with other ink pens or gel pens, it just feels a bit different. I mean, this is also a 0.38. And it writes fine. I love the Uniballs, but when you write with this instead, it just writes a bit thicker on the page because it isn't as fine of a tip as well, but it writes really nice. And there's no ghosting, there's no feathering, there's no bleed through. This just works like a regular pen does. And I just have this super awesome looking pen now that I can fill with any color ink versus being stuck with just black or blue. Um, I can use anything inside of here and it's super easy to use. And like I said, it doesn't use a ton of ink. I will tell you that Usually I wouldn't buy expensive pens. I totally understand not doing that because you can get a pack of, you know, uniballs for 15 bucks and be good. So to pay $95 feels like a lot, but I will tell you that for this one though, I think that it's worth it. I think it's worth it because it writes really nicely. Uh, it is retractable. It has a very cool carbon fiber design. You can get it in the rainbow, or you can get in that demo clear. You can even get a less expensive version of it if you want, or you can get those iodized colors as well, which are just kind of more the basic colors. And it still is nice at $65, or if you find a good sale, this is just awesome. But I just love the fact that I can fill this up. It works similar to a fountain pen without being a fountain pen tip. And I just think it's the coolest thing ever in the entire world. And it's been so cool to be able to use this uh, almost every single day, put it in my backpack and travel along with it and, and be done. It's, it's very cool. So I hope you're as excited about this pen as I am. And if you want to check out more, you can head over to their website, which is monteverdepens.com. You can go ahead and search for it by name if you want. It's called Engage. And you can check out not just this really cool carbon fiber one that I have, but also the rainbow and the one I almost got, which was the demo one, which is clear. So you can actually see the ink and how everything works inside, which is really cool. But I could not say no to this beautiful carbon fiber. If you like this video, you are absolutely going to love the videos that I have coming up in the near future where I'm going to be reviewing even more cool pens and ink that I got from Monte Verde, from Conklin, and also from Private Reserve Inks. If you wanna check out the full haul of everything that I got, you can check out this video right here, which was the full unboxing, and then we'll be breaking these down bit by bit in the near future. Thanks again for hanging out with me today, and I'll talk to you soon. See ya.